Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to apply Curve Deform modifier in Blender. Let's start to lesson. Firstly, press A and delete all objects in the screen. Press Shift A, and add new Bezier Curve. Press 7 key and go to top view. Press tab key and go to edit mode. Select the control point of curve. Press E key and extrude. You can edit your curve as you wish. You can add more control points by subdividing. Rotate the curve around the y-axis 90 degree. Add new cylinder and scale it. Don't forget to apply transforms before applying modifiers. Otherwise you can meet unexpected results. Go to edit mode. Press Ctrl R and add edge loops enough. Tab back into object mode. Go to modifiers menu and apply curve deform modifier. Select the curve. Move cylinder along Z axis. Here we go. You can see your object deforming with your curve. Now, let's make a simple train rail by using Curve Deform Modifier and Array Modifier together. Press Shift A, and add new path curve. Press Tab key and go to Edit Mode. Press 1 key and go to Front View. Select the Curve Control Point. Press E key and extrude. Tab back into object mode. Add new curve rectangle object. If you don't find it, Go to Preferences and check the Add Curve Extra Objects box. Select the Path Curve. Click on Object Data Properties menu. Drop down Geometry menu. Click on Object tab and choose Rectangle Curve. Right click, and choose Shade Flat. Select the rectangle curve and scale it. You can hide it if you don't want to be seen it. Select the path curve and duplicate it.
Go to top view and move along the Y axis little bit. Select the both curves and press Ctrl J to make them joint. Then, add new cube object and scale it. Don't forget to apply transforms before applying modifiers. Otherwise you can meet unexpected results. Go to modifiers menu and apply array modifier. Choose the fit curve and select the path curve. So it generates enough copies to fit within the length of the curve. Increase factor x little bit. We want the arrayed cube objects to follow the path curve. Then, apply curve deform modifier to the cube object. Select the path curve. Here we go. The best thing you can apply this by extruding interactively. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.